Do you believe that racism in America is a vital and challenging issue? Can you see yourself as a cycle-breaking agent of change who can make a difference in your community? Then watch this short video and you'll want to join us this Sunday at Mount Zion Baptist Church in Chapel Hill. program is great. Also, the, the spontaneous, informal engagement is wonderful. And I think we're creating um, a welcoming environment. Thank you for this opportunity to come and worship you. Thank you for the opportunity to learn about the one human family. In this regard, racism constitutes a profound deviation from true morality. It's the feeling that I'm sitting in mm -hmm. right now. Is now is the time we've been yearning for this. This is the truth about who we are. If you desire with all your heart, friendship with every race on earth, your thoughts spiritual and positive will spread. It will become the desire of others, growing stronger and stronger until it reaches the minds of all men. And we are not wrong. If we were wrong, the Supreme Court of the United States is wrong. If we are wrong, the Constitution is wrong. If we are wrong, God Almighty is wrong. <laughs> the people are really riled up now, Martin. They are truly ready. I've not seen anything like this ever. This is the moment. It's time to go to war against Jim Crow, and we need you now, brother. King was in, and the men started making phone calls then and there. Another Negro woman has been arrested and thrown in jail because she refused to give up a seat on the bus to a white person. King would thunder in those initial phone Enough calls. is enough. If we don't do something to stop these arrests, they will continue. I later heard that when a minister stopped to give a ride to a woman who walked a long way, he asked if she felt tired. My body may be a bit tired. But for many years now, my soul has been tired. Now, my soul is resting. So I don't mind if my body is tired, because my soul is free. If we are wrong, justice is a lie. Love has no meaning. And we are determined here in Montgomery to work and fight until justice runs down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. Because the best acting is instinctive. It's not intellectual. It's not mechanical. It's instinctive. And I feel like that's what we just witnessed today. We wanted to have some reflections from this skit. And how we're going to do this, I'm going to ask for volunteers. So we're all part of this one tree of humanity, but we all know that really we are one human family. What can I do to help other people's spirits be free, um, help other people on their path? Racism is like cancer. You can start one part of your body, love, and spread your body, and kill. You know, and we can cure that cancer. I was stirred by the, the, the acting. What came to my mind while you were speaking was the word courage. And Martin Luther King, during your skit, picked up the phone and he hesitated. That's us. We hesitated. But he stepped forward courageously. Who defines who we are? Right? Who defines who we are? We are spiritual beings. There's only one God, one faith, and one baptism. And we're one people, mm -hmm. regardless of our ethnicity, where we come from, mm -hmm. how much money we have, uh, which side of the railroad tracks we live on. We're one people, and we have to come together. This is the space, the time for people on this planet to recognize that our true reality, our true consciousness is that we are one family. Mm -hmm. We are agents of change. And, mm -hmm. it's, uh, and it's all because of the love 
that we have in our hearts. And we were just spreading that to others and is, is growing. I'm especially thankful to you for your participation, for your coming out and seeing that there is a need. We have the capacity to change our community in hopes to change our world. This is big, y'all. 